take a look at the relative frequency for this histogram. As you can see, you have one, two, three, four, five, and six bars, where you basically have six classes. Each class has a midpoint, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, and 150. The class with the highest relative frequency is this class with midpoint 110, and it is 35%. The class with lowest relative frequency is this class here with midpoint 150, and the relative frequency is about 3%. So if I ask you to find the class width, I'm going to say that, hey, by definition, the class width is a distance between lower or upper limits of consecutive classes. But note that we don't have the actual value for the lower or upper classes here. What we have instead, we have the representatives, which are the midpoints. So basically, you can just find the difference between the midpoints, and that is your class width. 110 minus 100 is the same as 120 minus 100, the difference between these two midpoints. The difference between these two midpoints, 130 minus 120, 140 minus 130, 150 minus 140, all are equal to 10. So the class width is 10.